All right, so hello again. Today we will make a basic uh, real time motion detection system. So, we will start. Uh, first, let me show you the code and the process it is working on. So, uh, it will take a few seconds to pop up the window. And after doing our coding part, we will convert this code into an exe file so that we can easily share and redistribute. Uh, so, you can see here. It is detecting my emotions. If I am neutral, sad, happy, angry, and to exit it, I will just press Q. And so this is the course. So I will right click and just open with code. So VS Code is here. Now what we are going to do is make a new Python file, and we will save it as emotion detection. Okay, we will and select type. Uh, select the type as python file and we will just save it so here i will zoom a little bit we will start with importing the dependency before starting with the code we just need to import the libraries so the we go to here terminal new terminal and we will just type this and one more we have this and we will you will hit enter i have already installed this so no need to install this i will mention the commands in the description so we will start with importing we'll just import cv2 so what is cv2 cv2 will help us to access our camera that we are going to use uh, in this case this will help us to access our laptop camera now we will type from deep face import deep face so deep face we are going to use a pre-trained model from deep face library okay so after that we will define a variable cap that is to capture and cv2 dot video capture this one and we will type zero here zero means we will capture the default uh, camera of our laptop now we will type file to okay and we are going to define two variables here parity and frame so what we are going to do is we are going to read the frame video frame from this cap variable and uh, here the frame will be stored and here the success status will be stored so what we are going to do is if not of red then means uh, our capturing of the frame field then we will just break and not proceed with the process. So after that, we will create a try and catch block. So here I am going to make a comment that we are going to analyze uh, the emotions. Okay. So here I will create a variable that is result, and in result we will call our deep face library and dot analyze function. And inside this we are going to specify the image, so that is frame variable. We yeah, can see we stored it, and now we are going to specify the actions. So inside actions, what we are going to do is uh, just mention emotion. So that is the only thing we need. And uh, one more thing we need to mention is enforce detection is equals to false. So the code will uh, also continue to work even when there is no emotion detected now we are going to get the uh, dominant uh, emotion so if is instance of result and uh, list now we'll create a variable dominant uh, emotion so that will be uh, the result will give us a list and we will select the first one out of that so we will say result zero dot get dominant emotion so that will be dominant underscore emotion so this will give us the dominant emotion and we'll type here unknown so we have written unknown here because if dominant emotion is uh, not detected then we are going to use uh, unknown so now we are going to use else we are using else because if it returns a list then it is going to select one of the most dominant emotion 
and the else if it returns a single then we'll use the default we'll type result dot get and we'll just type dominant dominant emotion and we'll just type here uh, unknown in case we are not able to detect it after that now we have both the emotion that we are trying to find now we are going to display it on the camera so we are going to display it on the frame and for that we are going to use cb2 library so we type uh, put text so this will put a text like it is a sad face a happy face angry face now we type it a few parameters here so first we type frame then we are going to create a string here and uh, it's uh, says emotion and we are going to use these curly brackets to uh, evaluate our dominant emotion and uh, next what we are going to specify is the font that we are going to use so we are going to use this form oh, sorry we can use simplex here and after that one is the font size then we are going to specify the color so for color we can use green so we we'll use 0 to 55 0 this is the color coding for green now two is for the font thickness now finally we are going to specify uh, the line type that we are going to use uh, to make our text look more better after doing this we can just go to the accept block uh, so if uh, any exception occurs then we are going to catch it and display the error for that we can just copy this line shift and copy hit enter and we are going to just change this text so we are going to type here no emotion detected so here uh, after typing this what we are going to do is directly show this so cv2 dot i am oh, sorry i made a mistake cv2 dot i am show and we are going to give it a heading so it's a real time emotion detection system the detection system and we are going to provide the frame here and after that we want to make sure that if uh, the user presses the key q so it exits so we type here press q to exit the logic for that is if cb2 dot wait key so wait key and bracket we type and 0 x uh, f f equal equals to ORD and we type here q q is our e that we are going to press and if this logic is true if this if statement is true then it will break so at last we type release uh, and we use this capture uh, so that our resources are uh, like the camera resource that our uh, process is holding that is released and at the end we destroy the window so destroy all windows and that is our final code let's say we can try to run it so it has started running so these are some tensor flow uh, warnings that we can ignore for now and let's see if our code works or not so it is taking some time uh, so here i made a few mistakes first i forgot to assign it uh, to the variable and now this if statement should be outside this except block and this should be uh, also outside it so we just press shift tab and uh, yeah this is uh, outside the while loop and we just also forgot to add size for our uh, frame so we'll add it here and we'll just bring this line also outside the accept block and now we'll save the file open the terminal and clear the screen and now we will run the command so now it has started the process so let's see if the code works so now it has opened the screen now it can show that i'm sad happy neutral and various other so now i'll press q 
and now it has succeeded. So now we are going to do one more interesting thing that we are going to add this file, uh, convert this file into an exe. So for that we are going to open it in the terminal. And what we are going to do is uh, first we are going to install uh, pip install a uh, py installer. So this helps us to convert our exe file, uh, our Python file into exe file. So I have already installed it. So no need to for me it's there is no requirement to install it again, but you install it. Now what we are going to do is type this command py installer and let's check the name of our file. So that is emotion. So I type emotion in it tab and I will add one flag here that is one file. So instead of creating multiple files, it will create a single exe executable file and for that i will just hit enter so it has started the process it has started analyzing all the code and it will take some time all right so now the process is completed and here you can see will complete the results are available in the dist folder so now we will directly jump onto the new folder and you, will, you can see the dist folder on it and here is our application and it is of around 423 MB. So we'll just open it. And uh, now it has started running. Let's see the output. So now we can see that our app is working. And we'll press Q here. And it closes now. So that was all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.